hi everyone how are you doing it's your boy dave and uh in this video we were going to start with um getting to the bootstrap site so you get to get bootstrap.com get bootstrap.com that is the bootstrap website and uh if you look at this place this uh place tells you the version of bootstrap you're trying to access so in this case um we're on 4.1 that's the latest version of bootstrap um so that's what we're going to work with and uh, if you're working if you're watching this video for any version of bootstrap that is within 4. Point anything 4.x this video will work so um anything from 4.0 to 4.9 will work perfectly you understand so except until when we get to 5.0 that's when uh, this video wouldn't be effective again then i'll have to update all right to start you just uh, click on get started and then it brings you to this page and what you're basically looking for is um this starter template you see so what we're going to do is we're going to create a html file create a random folder go to any place in your system where you normally create your websites for me i do create mine inside um, a folder ww folder remember this thing can work in any folder on your website so for me this is where i create mine inside my c documents one in fact let me access it straightforward so you'll see um here inside my c inside this drive uh 164 www i just came up with this folder remember that you can create yours even on desktop all right if you don't have this 164 in your system it's okay you can create yours anywhere so i'm gonna call it bootstrap for tutorial i've created a new folder i'll call it bootstrap for tutorial there we go so hit enter open it so i'm going to open this folder from my text editor remember you can always use any text editor i already have a text editor called vs code installed in my system so if i right click on the empty space and click vs code it will open so just in case let me just make sure that nobody is being skipped here i'm going to create a new for a new tab just to show you how uh, the the vs code so type download download vs code it's called visual studio code that's the editor i'm using of course you can use notepad plus plus you can use um, sublime text anyone you're using is just okay all right it just makes sense so that's it basically you click on we're using windows system so i'll click on this and download and uh, in your own case just download for the one you're using if you're using mac you download for this all right it's free and it's owned by microsoft so now we've opened it if you're using visual studio code to open this folder this bootstrap folder from your visual studio code you just right click on the empty space and click open vs code so if i click on this place i'll see that this folder has been opened on my um, system look at it bootstrap tutorial so now i have to create a new file i'll click this little icon here and um, type index.html all right so i've created a html file um remember that in this course what we're trying to um create what we're trying to duplicate is um the udemy home page so um if you look at the home page uh this is how it looks like that's what we're trying to duplicate all right so we'll get to that in a minute so first of all let's copy this default um code template code or whatever i'll copy then i'll have to go to my um, index.html right click and paste all right so what one thing i'll do is to make sure that this code is bigger okay makes sense now uh, so that you can see it more clearly now i'll analyze this code in this video then uh, i will continue in the next video first of all bootstrap 4 cannot work unless you are working with html5 page or document and this is the line that tells it, um, your pastor that this, your, com your computer or whatever that this document is html5 once you do this um, it shows that it's html5 if this line misses then a number of your styles in bootstrap 4 will not work perfectly and then uh, we have the head tag inside the head tag we're importing something we're doing something very important here in the star sheet look at uh it says stack path bootstrap cdn you see that uh inside the bootstrap cdn where 
it's pointing to a bootstrap 4.1 that is hosted on this website all right this is as opposed to us downloading it into our system then at the bottom inside your body tag look at the body tag you understand look at everything inside the body tag so at the bottom of the body tag um, they are important number one is jquery bootstrap must work with jquery you understand so they are important jquery and secondly there's a, a they, we're importing um popper.js this is what helps with um all these pop-ups look at when i click my, when i place my mouse over popper.js you see something this guy shows up so this is a pop-up so this popper.js handles that then there's the bootstrap js file you see so we're importing these three files by default so thank you very much uh we will see in the next video